this is the application of the USB to RS485 converter that I uh, fabricated. Uh, the final finish is a USB case of polycase systems. As you can see, the USB part, the RS485 part. Uh, for testing this USB to RS485, we are using a Nexus meter, a UPS to provide the power supply to the Nexus meter and a PC with a communicator EXT software. Uh, the communicator EXT software is already pre-configured pre with the default setting of serial port. We are using a virtual COM port for the USB. Uh, finally, it's translated to the USB by the FTDI chip with uh, glue logic of RS485 circuitry to the Nexus meter. So we're going to connect by RS485. Here is the detection of the meter. Let's quick click here. Okay, right now we are connected to the meter and I, sh I will show you the monitoring part to follow the signal of the phase E, phase A, I mean. Okay, as you can see, it's the sine wave of the AC signal. Let me produce a fault on the system to see if we can communicate. As you can see, we are have bidirectional transmission and control um, handshaking in the serial port. My USB to RS485 is functioning well. Uh, let's, hand, let's generate a fault. Okay, we are now using the UPS battery part. Um, my Nexus meter is already on. My USB to RS485 is on. And that's the wave that we see on the phase A uh, captured by the Nexus meter. As you can predict uh, it's not a sine wave, it's a rectified uh, DC and the test was completed because my uh, USB to RS485 is functioning, it's translating the signals from the meter to the PC and have the directional communications. Thanks for watching.